Welcome back to the Tom's River Fire Academy Pump School Lesson Number Five: Calculating Friction Loss in Inch and Three Quarter Hose. Before we discuss friction loss, let us review the nozzles that we will use on inch and three quarter hand lines. The two basic types of nozzles that we use are automatic fog nozzles and smoothbore nozzles. The top picture is a TFT brand automatic nozzle. This nozzle can flow anywhere from 100 gallons a minute up to 200 gallons a minute when used on an inch and three quarter hand line. I will discuss the operation of an automatic nozzle in the next slide. The bottom picture is a 15 16 inch smoothbore nozzle. This nozzle flows 185 gallons a minute at 50 pounds nozzle pressure. Automatic nozzles work on engine pressure. The higher the engine pressure, the greater the flow. The automatic nozzle uses a spring to maintain a nozzle pressure of 100 psi as long as the pressure to the nozzle is greater than 100 psi. As the pump operator increases the pump pressure, a slide valve inside the nozzle opens to allow more water to move through the nozzle. The spring control works in conjunction with the slide valve to maintain 100 psi nozzle pressure. When using the automatic nozzle, the officer or pump operator can determine the needed fire flow based on the size of the fire. Once the flow is selected, the pump operator just needs to add the nozzle pressure and the friction loss together to come up with the required engine pressure. Smooth bore or fixed gallonage nozzles work on a fixed flow that is determined by the tip size or orifice opening of the nozzle. The nozzle on the right is a 15 16 inch nozzle that flows 185 gallons a minute with a nozzle pressure of 50 psi. The flow is based on a mathematical formula using the tip diameter and the nozzle pressure. Unlike an automatic nozzle, an increase in engine pressure above the required engine pressure will not increase the flow. The increased engine pressure will more than likely disrupt the shape of the stream and cause it to break up. Here is the hand method rule of thumb that we can use to determine friction loss. The first thing we always need to know is the required flow in gallons per minute. Each finger has a designated flow in GPM. Each flow also has a designated number. To find the friction loss, just select the flow and take the assigned number and multiply it by 10. That will give you the friction loss for each 100 foot section of hose. In the next slide, I have a short video to walk you through the hand method for inch and three quarter hose. Okay, welcome to Tonsure Fire Academy Pump School, lesson number five friction loss for inch and three quarter hose. We're going to be using a simple rule of thumb method to determine the friction loss in inch and three quarter hose today. It's known as the hand method. Uh, easiest way to do this is take your left hand and as you see I have my left hand drawn up on the board and we're going to apply some real simple numbers to our left hand. We're going to start out with numbering each finger. So we're going to start with the thumb. Thumb is going to be number one, ring finger is number two, middle finger number three, ring finger is number four, and pinky is number five. The palm of our hand, we're going to put the number 10. So when we do this, each finger is going to be a multiplier of 10. So it's going to be 1 times 10, 2 times 10, 3 times 10, 4 times 10, or 5 times 10. Right? Now we're going to apply a flow to each finger, starting with the thumb. Thumb is going to be 100 gallons a minute, so 100. Pointer finger or index finger is going to be 125 gallons a minute. The ring, the middle finger is going to be 150 gallons a minute. The ring finger is going to be 175 gallons a minute. And the pinky finger is going to be 200 gallons a minute. When we use inch and three quarter hose, most of us are using a task force type tip, which is an automatic nozzle. We can determine 
how much water we want to flow out of these automatic nozzles. First thing we always need to know when we talk friction loss, no matter what hose, we need to know the flow. So in this case, with an inch and three quarter hand line, we can select the flow. Let's select 150 gallons a minute, which will be a standard uh, attack package for a residential structure fire. So knowing the flow that I want to develop, it's an automatic nozzle, so it's a fog nozzle. I know my, frick, my nozzle pressure is going to be 100 PSI, so I know the nozzle pressure. Now I need to determine the friction loss. So if I look at my uh, left hand and I go through the thumb, is 100, 125, 150. So I look at my middle finger, is 150 gallons a minute. I, the number that corresponds to the 150 gallons a minute is 3. So I take 3 times 10. That's my friction loss for 150 gallons a minute through one length of inch and three quarter hose. So three times 10 is 30. My friction loss is 30 PSI for every 100 foot of hose. So if I have 200 feet of pre-connected inch and three quarter hose line, I have 30 PSI in the first 100 feet of hose. I have 30 PSI in the second 100 foot of hose. So my total friction loss is 60 PSI. I add that to my 100 pounds of nozzle pressure, and I get an engine pressure of 160 PSI. Pretty simple. Let's do another one real quick. Let's take a 175. Excuse me. Let's take 175 uh, GPM. So in this case, if we're going to do 175 GPM, uh, the thumb is 100, 125, 150, 175. So at 175, the corresponding number is 4. It's 4 times 10. So my friction loss is 40 PSI for every 100 feet of hose. So let's say I have 300 feet of pre-connected inch and three-quarter. That would be... 40 PSI through the first 100 feet, 40 PSI through the second 100 feet, and 40 PSI through the, the last 100 feet. So my friction loss would be 120. Add my nozzle pressure. If it's 100, it's a fog nozzle, it'll be 100, so I get 220 PSI engine pressure. Pretty simple. Uh, try a bunch of these on your own. Uh, Find it, you'll find it to be uh, fairly easy. Okay, thanks for watching. Enjoy the class.